What's up, yo? This is Michael Man Mike's Customs coming in with another video, working on a brake booster. Um, I'm not being zero dollars on this job. I'm taking this video for pure documented purposes because this is a horrid job. I got the customer yelling at me, all types of extra shit. Thinking that that's good, what's going to get his job done. Obviously, I'm a good mechanic. This is your part number for your brake booster. I believe this is an O'Reilly's part. Um, honestly, I'm just done fighting with this customer. I'm going to do this one as soon because I couldn't move the car at all. Um, the brake booster leaked fluid everywhere when I pulled it out. So I know the brake booster was busted. Um, what I was able to figure out was the tip of the brake booster is busted. As you can see inside, the tip of the booster is busted. It should be like a little ball. Damn, it broke my glass. There should be a little ball on the tip of there, and there is not. So this is bad. Um, so that's leaking out. Um, this gasket goes on this way, the same way this is directional. Um, so it has this piece that goes on like that. Of course, the fucking things are bent. I had a feeling they were bent. It looked bent. So there's that. And then there's this gasket. So there's gaskets that go in between this piece so that the metals don't rub, so it doesn't bust a hole in it or rust out. These gaskets are old. I'm reusing them. I had this spacer plate. Um, this is the nut to adjust the brakes. Normally what I do is I just count the thread from the bottom. One, hang on one second. So with my fingernail, one, two, three, four, five with the edge. So. I'm gonna screw it down. And then count. One, two, three, four, and then five with the edge. So it's as far as it can go down, that's as far as it let me. I gotta swap this piece over. And this piece will be ready to install. Again, this video is for documentative purposes. I'm paid zero dollars. I went to go pick up the part today and the customer was yelling at me as like if I was a child. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, document this vehicle for legal purposes. I um, had to take out the whole, I had to move the ABS module, move the two lower brackets, had to move the AC line, had to move the brake booster vacuum line and clear out this entire area so that I could finagle that piece out as well. Thank God I have a place to do business or I wouldn't have any of these fancy lights, tools, and equipment and uh, 21 years of knowledge. But you know what? Some people, they just don't have what it takes to complete the job and they assume because they pay X amount of dollars, they're entitled to get their job. Look, at the end of the day, I feel for the guy and I'm helping him. But when you yell at me, that's not cool. So I made this video for any mechanics going through a problem with a customer. Uh, at the end of the day, he's a genuine dude. I just didn't like the way I was spoken to. So I have nothing bad to say other than, like I said, I was yelled at. Um, you gotta come down here and uh, remove one, two. Where are we at? Three, four. And then there's a shaft that comes through the middle of that hole in the middle where this where the hole in the middle is. Let me get a finger in there somewhere, right there. That whole shaft comes through and hooks up with a pin. You'll have four bolts and a pin. Always keep track of your pin. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Always do a good job. Even if you're paid or not paid, I was always taught by my mentor to do your job. This so they have nothing else to say. Um, I'm just putting the brake booster on, getting it to stop, and I'm getting them out of here. Again, like I said, I'm frustrated. I don't like being yelled at or talked down to. I hope he enjoys this video. Again, out of all due respect, uh, here's your car and this is the work that was necessary. I think the booster job itself is another $800, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get this done, get it out of my driveway and uh, be done with this car. Like, subscribe, comment, always do a good job. Um, never let one person determine the way you act out as you are as a person. So with this, this is me doing the job, doing it right, getting it done. Um, also, the brake booster, since it was bad, uh, the rod inside was damaged. And so basically the rod cracked the new master cylinder. Yep, that's what happened when you got a Brad brake booster. And it even said, when you're installing this, that the brake booster isn't changed, it voids the warranty. So hopefully it didn't void its warranty. We'll see. 
Like, subscribe, comment. Always stay neat. Always keep the old stuff in a drain container so you never get fluids anywhere. And keep all the neat and clean stuff away from the dirty stuff. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, comment. Michael and Man Mike's Customs. Peace.